I know, death. It's a bit of a morbid topic, but things can get pretty interesting after we die. In this video, you'll learn new vocabulary to help you talk about what happens to our things when we die. Welcome to my channel. Remember, this video simplifies the subject and uses examples just to demonstrate how the vocabulary is used. My name is Simone and this is my first video. Estates and Trusts was one of my favorite subjects in law school. There's a lot to talk about in this area of law, but today we're only going to talk about the estate side of the Estates and Trusts duo. What is an estate? Basically, estate just means your property. This can be land, pets, your bank account, even a stack of comic books. Almost anything you own is your property. Let's start our conversation with a question. Do you have a will? Actually, I do have a will. I have a will to live. A will to be successful. I even have a picture of a tiny Will Smith in my pocket. Wanna see? Thanks for your input, Bruce. Obviously, in this context, that is not the kind of will we're talking about. In estates and trusts, a will is a legal document that tells other people where you want your things to go when you die. A better way to say this is, a will says who should inherit your estate. So it's great if you have a will and everything is as it should be. We can say our I's and T's are dotted and crossed. But what happens if you die without a will? If you don't decide where your things go, then someone else will have to decide for you. We call dying without a will, dying intestate. Dying without a will triggers a legal process called the law of intestacy. This is a specific set of rules that the courts use to decide who inherits your estate. Keep in mind that the law of intestacy is different depending on where you live but it's always a process of finding your closest living relatives. Usually, an intestate estate is distributed or divided following this order of evaluation. First, it goes to your spouse and children. If you don't have a spouse, then it would go to your children. If you do have a spouse but no children, then it just goes to your spouse. If you have both a spouse and children, then it's divided. There's a whole set of rules for how that's done that we're not going to talk about right now. If you have no spouse and no children, then your estate goes to your parents. If you have no parents, then your estate goes to your siblings. If you have no siblings, then there are different ways of dividing the estate but usually the estate is distributed to any remaining heirs. Think about it. What problems do you see with distributing an estate this way? We'll come back to this later. Sometimes a person doesn't have a will and they don't have any heirs who can inherit the estate. Now what happens? I can tell you, nothing good. When this happens, the estate is cheats to the state. The estate is cheats to the state. If you're not following me on my other platforms, or if you are but forgot the meaning of this word, is cheat means that the estate goes to the government because now there's no one left to take your things. So you can say, Bye-bye stuff. I mean, you could have left it to a charity or thrown your friends a party, but no, you let it go to the government. Remember my question earlier? 
What problems do you see with dying intestate? In 2016, this guy suddenly died. At the time, his estate was valued at around $163 million. Guess what? Prince didn't have a will. Why? As of the making of this video, Prince's estate is still unsettled. That means they are still trying to figure out who gets his stuff and exactly what each person should get. It sounds like an expensive and unpleasant experience for everyone except Prince. There are many other examples of celebrities who either died without a will or who died with a flawed will. If you find this topic interesting, then you can click the description box for links to other examples or you can find some of your own. When you do this, try to restate what you learn and incorporate some of the vocabulary you learned today. Thank you for watching my first video. Yay! I hope you learned a few new words and have a better understanding of legal lingo. You can find a list of all of the target vocabulary in the description box below.